Hello everyone, this is November 3, Charlie Delta Foxtrot, and I posted up a, a thread on to Facebook about a coil that I had built, and I got a lot of requests to build one for them or start selling them, and I just won't do that at this point, uh, not as long as Wolf River Coils is still in business. So I've decided to just do a YouTube, and if you choose to build your own, you can, which they're very, very easy to do. So let's get started. Okay, so here's all the, here's all the pieces. We started off with a <clears throat> inch and a quarter piece of PVC, Schedule 40, and we cut it to about seven inches long. And these are available from Home Depot for like $3 for a two foot piece. I got two inch and a quarter caps. Okay, so then I measured seven inches and I tapped the caps on and that's what these black lines indicate. That's how far the caps will go on. I went ahead and glued the strips on there and there's eight of those. I just evenly spaced and I used a little bit of silicone just to glue them on there. And I, once I had them all glued on there, I just let it sit for a little while. Then I took the caps, there's two of them, and there's a little dimple right in the middle of the cap and that indicates where the center of it is. It's probably a molding mark and then I drilled uh, the, the hole for 3 8 These bolts, you're gonna need two of them. They're 3 8 by 24, and they're an inch and a half long. And you'll need uh, two of those, eight, eight bolt or eight nuts, and half a dozen or so washers uh, to capture the wire and capture the, uh, the wire connector here. This little, this little connector here it's just a 3 8 by 24 uh, coupler, and that's all it is. And that you can get those from Ace Hardware. Uh, I don't know if Home Depot or Lowe's has them, but I know Ace Hardware does. So those holes were just drilled, um, put in the center, and That's where we are right now. Here's the here's the grommet strips I used, and these are available from McMaster Car. Uh, they're like ten bucks for twenty five of them. And there's the part number is GSNY zero eight five nine Q. And that's where we are so far. That's the initial start of the of the of the coil. It will, it will tune from six through 40 meters. Six and 10, you'll probably need to shorten the antenna a little bit. You need about 35 winds of wire, and there's, I think there's 36 here, I believe. And that's all you need. So this is, what did I say, seven inches long? And that is the start of it. All, all total, Maybe about $25 for one of these for one of these coils. They're small, they're lightweight. I use it on my Jeep on a mount, and I also have used it with a single magnetic mount. Both of them will tune uh, 1.5, 1.4 to 1, and I was using a MFJ uh, analyzer to do that. So the next part will be drilling a couple little holes in and winding the wire onto onto the coil and we'll do that in just a few minutes here Okay, our next step is to drill a little hole right here, and it doesn't matter on what side, and start feeding the 
uh, wire through. Now what I used was 18 gauge steel galvanized wire. That's all I used. Uh, stainless is very hard to work with. I find it very hard to work with. And I think brass is a little bit, or copper is a little bit too soft. Okay, so then we need a way to capture capture the wire on the inside because this is going to be pulled taut. So pretty much all I did was take a washer, just a little washer, and wrap wrap the wire around it a couple times. Hopefully you can see that. And then just pulled it through. And now we'll start wrapping the wire. And that's the fun part. So it doesn't matter which direction you go, but we're gonna wrap, we're gonna start wrapping, putting it into each groove all the way to the top. So as we work or work our way around, we just keep going. And I pulled that one loose. And we just keep going and going and going. And I'm trying to pull it as tight as I can. Okay, and we just keep going and going and going like that. Not, don't worry if you, don't worry if you pull some of the little strips loose. They, they will stay in place. And I'll be back in just a minute when I get it all wound up. Okay, now we got it all wound up. <clears throat> and once we get it all wound, as you can see, they're pretty nice. Look pretty nice. I drilled two holes at the very end. There's one, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's two little holes right on that black mark. And you'll need to put the wire inside one, pull it tight, and then put it down through the other one so it exits. And that will hold the wire uh, taut enough. It's a little bit of difficulty but getting the wire back through there and getting it tight but that'll keep it from loosening up and coming undone so I have the wire going in the one hole and then coming out the other hole so now we're just going to pull that wire through you want to leave about a foot or so on a pigtail. And then just keep working it. Putting it back through. get to the very end it may want to pop itself out and I just keep pulling that wire tight through that holes just like that now that wire is good and tight around the top couple wraps and it won't go anywhere Okay, now we got that part. Now, the next section that we're gonna do, we could glue the top on. Okay, so I tap the top on there. And what I'll do is I'll run a bead of uh, uh, super glue around the, around the inside when I'm done. So I've loosened up the nut, we just laid it up there, now it will go underneath these two washers, just like that, and 
and that nut will get tightened down as tight as I can get it so it captures the wire. And that's, that's the top of it. And there we go. It's been tightened up. The wire is between the two washers, which this is where the antenna is going to go once I put the coupler on there. Just like that. And that'll be the antenna end. You can see the inside. There. Okay. The coils all wound up tight. We space these out just a little bit. Sometimes they'll they'll come unglued, and that's okay. Just kind of move them around where you got to have them. You can hit them with a drop of. Um, you could hit them with a drop of uh, super glue if you wanted to. But once the wire is on there, they won't they won't move very far. And that's it. The wire goes in here. It's captured with a little washer here in, inside so it doesn't pull out. It's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. When I get to the very top, there's two holes drilled. One to go in and one to come out. And then that wire, the coil wire, then attaches to the top of the antenna. And your telescopic antenna or whatever you happen to use will go, will go here. Okay, so now we're going to make the pigtail up. And what I did is I, uh, this ring connector connects to about a 10 inch piece of wire. Solder it or crimp it. I crimped it because I don't have a soldering gun alligator clips uh, you can use alligator clips you could use uh, the little clips from uh, I think it's buddy poles they have the little clips that clip on this wire and you'd use a different kind of uh, bullet connector then so then we're just gonna crimp that onto here and that would be the end of it so let me get that crimped on and I'll be right back Okay, we got the alligator clip put on there with a little bit of shrink wrap. And now we'll just give the tap the tap. Okay, and that is it. We'll run a little bit of bead of um, uh, super glue around here. That'll keep the That'll keep the top and bottom cap on, and then that will be connected to the wire wherever wherever uh, 20 and 40 meters is. And that is it. That's the whole thing. These things are super easy to build. Uh, anybody with just a drill, a couple pliers, a little bit of wire here and there, and for about 25 bucks you can build one. Uh, they work good. I've tested it out on another one I built. Stop it! Dog's barking. Dog's barking. And they work. So give it a try. The only other thing that I did is I took the little boot off and I put a little piece of shrink wrap on each side. So just the very end teeth grab the wire. This way if the if the alligator clip happens to go down and touches another wire, it might give you a bad SWR reading. So then I just shrunk them on there just like that. And that is really it. Uh, it's a very easy project to make. It works well. And give it a try. Thanks for watching.